ordinary someone. Suddenly, you start feeling a bit cheap. Raise your hands if you think of running to a doctor. Anybody? No. And a few minutes later, you start feeling some kind of a pain in your mouth, an irritation. Will you rush to a doctor? Raise your hands, please. I can see only two people nodding their head. No. The problem is very, very important because people get a symptom. They dismiss it as, as nothing serious. 40% of the people rush to a doctor, but 60% don't. The symptoms which I said is to do with monkeypox. It's almost in UK 200. Any illness or disease, infection especially, comes with a symptom. They present with all symptoms. And this symptom, chill, is a symptom just before you start seeing pox coming up. But the soreness in the mouth occurs two weeks earlier. So two weeks earlier when you are at home, you find something, you brush your teeth, you wash your mouth with Listerine, sit and spend two weeks. What are you going to be doing is, you are going to be giving this monkey pox to everybody in your family, go out party, spread it, spread it around, because you've got 14 days of period when you're already infected to infect everybody else. That is the problem I'm trying to solve. And the presentation here is simply a chat box. So if you have a symptom, I'm saying don't rush around, don't dismiss it off, just check it in this little app. You know a new infection named after me? Monkeypox is now spreading rapidly in 15 to 20 countries in the world? Please do not panic, because the May rash looks scary, but only a few people are said to be hospitalized or die. Fear will suppress immunity and make you vulnerable to infection, so conquer fear, and stay healthy. The first symptom that occurs 7 to 14 days before you identify you are infected, is a reddish-white rash on the tongue and in the mouth. This may be associated with swollen glands in the neck, armpits, under the jaw, above the collarbone, and in the groin. The symptoms are not specific, and so difficult to be 100% sure. High fever, malaise, tiredness, headache, and shortness of breath will follow, which are listed as the common symptoms. The most infectious stage is 7 to 14 days before you notice a skin rash. You must isolate the individual, as soon as you notice a rash in the mouth, and speak to your doctor, or public health helpline. Which will tell you what you should do. Education is the most important thing in modern medicine. It is nothing to do with tests, it's nothing to do with treatment, it's nothing to do with quarantining, making shutdowns. It won't work. I have worked in this business for almost 40 years. 1980s, I started my work. I wrote my first artificial intelligence based program in Cyan. How many of you have seen Cyan? Cyan is the first PDA, a personal digital organizer. 1984, before Google or anybody came in, I wrote my first program so that my junior doctors will not admit common illness patients into the hospital. They didn't know which one is serious, which one is not serious. So I had to teach them. I made cards, didn't work. So this is pediatric assessment tool, PAC I call it. So if some junior doctor comes in who's calling me for everything, I gave him that, I said, look, just put the thing in. If it says call street, please call street. I reduced the admissions to the hospital more than 50%. But in the wrong run in six months, they were perfect. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using an app to educate you, you, you and you. Everybody should know this. How do you differentiate a common infection from a serious one? They can put posters everywhere and how many of you have heard about monkeypox? Not many. It is going to spread. Sorry, it is going to spread. It's not going to kill many people, but it is going to happen. But the best thing is to prevent it. Not start doing mass campaign tests, go around in trucks trying to do blood tests. Nonsense. And I am not going to allow that. I want to protect you 
I don't care what this monkey sitting in the CDC is doing. Because at the end of the day, it's my life and my daughter, my children. And that is here, this presentation will tell you what are the problems I said. So basically what I have done is, I have created a simple app to start with. Everything is symptoms. It can be downloaded in your laptop, desktop, iPhones, and there's one Android as well. And this app just asks you three questions. What is your first symptom? What is your second symptom? And what is your third symptom? Because if a patient comes to see me, I don't depend upon, I have fever doctor. I'm not going to be wasting my time talking about fever. I need to know what kind of fever he has. Is it in the morning? Is it in the evening? Is it going up and down? Is it feeling hot and cold? So there are various subclasses which I am listening. I'm not listening to fever as a main problem. So I put the subclass list. So all that you have to do is fever, it will give you all the subclass. Then second symptom, third symptom. As soon as you finish, you do that and it will say go to the doctor because you don't know, it's color coded. Red color means go to the doctor, speak to a doctor. I don't want you to come to see me with an infection. See, I didn't do it to protect you, I did it to protect me. Somebody has got coronavirus, he comes to me, oh doctor, I got fever. Yeah, next day my child is in the hospital on a ventilator. No, so I want to know what he has. So I gave him the app. Put the first symptom, second symptom, and third symptom. We said, go to the doctor, please go to the doctor. Otherwise, we phone call, yeah, let's speak to you. Otherwise, you want to go to the nurse, go to the nurse. You go to die, go to the ambulance and go to the hospital. Don't come to see me. So I bifurcated it into five simple process. These are the four things you have to do. And if you want to communicate, you can communicate your own doctor. Now what I have done is, I have created a chat box. Chat box is nothing but a little monkey kind of a thing will appear. And you can put in your thing and it will answer because I have given the answers. It's an algorithm. That is how my brain works. Because I didn't work as a doctor in the community. I was dealing with intensive care. In the morning and night, I only saw children who were sick, who were dying, who were not well. So, I have to be fast in diagnosis. I can't wait for the test to be coming back saying he's got positive, he's got negative. So, 20% of the test which come back is actually wrong. The patient has an infection, test says no. What do I do? The infection doesn't exist. So, these are the problems I have addressed using an app. It's free, you can download these apps in the app stores. I mean, I've spent 40 years developing this. How the hell are they going to develop it? They can't even copy it because I have written about it in my books. So nobody can talk for 70 years. So my little brain child is going to be killed. And this hospital and this healthcare, pharmaceutical companies, device manufacturers, test managers are going to be making millions, destroying the life of our children. So that is the reason I am doing it. I don't care, I'm 67 years old, who the hell cares, I've done everything in my life anyway. I don't need anything from this world. So, I need people to help me. That's why I went to Francis work and I sit there and work. So if any of you are interested in joining me, helping me, working with me, please contact me. America did a, recently a study, John Hopkins, and they found 9 patients out of 10 get the wrong diagnosis. That's a bloody disgrace. It would have never happened if people like me were teaching them. You know the reason? Because protocol breaks. Oligorhythm. The person comes with sore throat, yeah, he has to get penicillin. He doesn't have to get penicillin. So medicine is not using the brain of a doctor. It's only using the protocols. Oh, he has to check the temperature. If you don't do the temperature, you are in trouble. They harass you. Our doctors are suffering because they are coming out and saying this is all rubbish. But nobody wants to listen. I am telling people, please wake up. Stop believing the lies. Seek the truth. Go search it. It's all in the internet. I have written hundreds of articles for the past 40 years. Find the truth. Don't trust modern medicine. There is no drug which cures, only postpones. It suppresses the symptom. We are not God, we postpone death. But everyone says, oh doctor, you save life. Nonsense, we don't save anybody's life.
So the truth is you have all the goodies but make use of it. If your mindset is fine, I am still COVID negative, but I have worked in leprosorium, I have worked in TV sanitorium, I have worked with all sorts of influence, I have worked in COVID area. I never took any vaccination, including hepatitis B. Who said I don't get it? It's a fear. Put the fear into the people so they're becoming like, you know, zombies. And that is why the government and politicians want you to be dependent. So you have, we have all lost our free will. Wake up. Thank you. Change life and make it better because it's kind of messed up in a lot of ways. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. Scientists placed four monkeys in a room with a stepladder, upon which there was a bunch of bananas. Whenever a monkey started climbing the ladder, the other monkeys in the room were sprayed with ice cold water. After a while, each time a monkey went for the bananas, the other monkeys attacked to prevent the monkey climbing the ladder. The four monkeys soon learned not to climb the ladder. The scientists removed one monkey, and a new monkey wearing a raincoat was introduced. Naturally, this new monkey went to get the bananas and was attacked and prevented from climbing the ladder, by the other monkeys. This new monkey did not know why but soon learnt not to climb the ladder. So when another monkey was substituted in and made the bananas, all the monkeys, including the one in the raincoat, attacked the new monkey. A third and finally the fourth monkey. The four monkeys with raincoats did not climb the ladder, even though none of them had ever been sprayed with the ice-cold water. When asked why one of the monkeys said, Well, I don't know. That's just how things are done around here. The moral of this story is to show, the fear of infections, hospitalization and death, made us believe doctors save lives. Remove the veil of illusion, seek the truth, know the truth and stop believing the lies. Ask Dr. Maya.